What's going on everybody? Got the crazy dog back for another video. And uh, in this video I'm going to talk about the upcoming matchup on Sunday featuring my Browns and the Jets. And how funny is it that during this game they will be honoring the 1986 Cleveland Browns. And um, do I think we can win this game? Yes. This is one of our very few winnable games that we have left on our schedule. But, you know, this is not going to be an easy win. Because, of course, Ryan Fitzpatrick is indeed playing. And we just don't know if Ryan Fitzpatrick is going to... Which one will show up? Is the Ryan Fitzpatrick that almost took the Jets to the playoffs going to show up? Or is the Ryan Fitzpatrick that cannot stop throwing interceptions... Will that one show up? Or as we like to call him, Ryan Pickpatrick. Personally, I would love it if Ryan Pickpatrick showed up. Because maybe we could get a few interceptions and maybe we could win this game. Win it for the, uh, for the guys from the 86 Browns. That'd be nice. Maybe the 86 Browns would be a good luck charm. I would really enjoy if we got a win. Of course, there would be against the one team that has, like, no one in the TTC. So I can't technically, tra you know, say, you know, you know, uh, kind of rub it in their face. But it would be nice to get a win either way. Now, of course, Ryan Fitzpatrick has weapons such as Brandon Marshall, Matt Forte, among others. Now, Eric Decker is not playing because he's on the IR. So that's one weapon they will not have. But who's to say Brandon Marshall will not go nuts? Not to mention our run defense kind of took a major step back last week as we went from shutting down DeMarco Murray and Derrick Henry, who were two dynamic rushers, to allowing Jeremy Hill to run all over us. Okay. Mm-hmm. I don't know what that was all about. I mean, you went from shutting down a pretty good runner in DeMarco Murray. I mean, heck, you even sort of silenced Matt Jones. I mean, the Garrett Blunt didn't really do too much. The Dolphins don't really – you know, they do a running back by committee. You know, the Ravens, I don't even know what's going on with them in running back situation. And Ryan Matthews isn't that good anymore. So it's not like, you know, we had any big premier backs except for DeMarco. DeMarco is probably the best running back we've faced so far. Arguably. <sighs> i tell you one thing. He could have easily let us up, and he didn't. But then Jeremy Hill comes in here. Or, you know, we go down to Cincinnati, and Jeremy Hill walks up and just freaking goes off for 275 on us. Okay. So where is the defense that shut down DeMarco Murray at? Were they uh, eating some chili? Did they eat too much chili before the game on Sunday? Hmm. I don't know, but uh, looking at this game, you know, we got to stop Matt Forte. We must, we must cause turnovers. Ryan Fitzpatrick has a thing for throwing interceptions. Well, let's contribute to that. Let's, uh, Maybe, say, get a few interceptions. You know, maybe we can give our offense some good field position. If not, let's get some defensive touchdowns. That would be really fantastic. <sighs> but like I said, this is one of the very few winnable games we have on our schedule. We don't win this game. It's very unlikely we will win a game. Because after this game, we, I only see us possibly having a chance against... The Ravens and the Chargers. That's it. Every other game, you might as well chalk up an L for the Browns. Unless we steal one, which I don't know about that. I mean, we got Dallas next week. Oh, God. Ezekiel Elliott. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, my God, dude. Y'all Dallas Cowboy fans are probably foaming at the mouth knowing that you guys got us next week. Yeah. Can't wait for that one. Can't wait for that one. 
But for right now, we got to take care of the Jets. And they've had our number the past few past like few meetings. Last year, they beat us 31-10 to in their first game of the year. That was the same game that Josh McCown decided to turn into a human helicopter. And he tried to fly through the air, and he got spun around and uh, got a concussion. Mm-hmm. So maybe if – and by the way, Josh McCown may play in this game. He may be a starter because Cody Kessler has got a concussion. But, yeah, we'll see. Either – it'll either be McCown or Hogan. So we'll see. Corey Coleman returned to practice today. But – he was just running routes. He wasn't catching passes. Just running routes. So I do not think he will be back this week. If anything, he'll be back either next week or the week after. Ah, oh, man. You know, not really too much to talk about in this game. But my three keys to a Browns W are pretty much the same. You know, get after Fitzpatrick. Cause turnovers, get sacks. That's one. My second one is the secondary must step up. You know, Brandon Marshall is a big dude. Bigger than A.J. Green. A.J. Green tore you guys apart. He tore them apart without Joe Hayden. The one guy who could possibly stop A.J. Green was not there. If Joe Hayden plays, which I think he will, he we I mean he can possibly shut down or at least contest with Brandon Marshall with no Eric Decker. You know, and my third one is the offense has got to score first. There's this trend that the Browns have of deferring after the coin toss. And we are 0-7. I think we've deferred in every game, pretty much. Yeah. I'm pretty sure we've deferred in almost every game. And we have allowed the opponent to score on their opening drive, I believe, six of the seven times. The only times I think we did – no, I'm sorry, maybe maybe four of the seven. I don't know. Or four – I don't know. It's like – it's crazy. I think there's only two teams that we have not allowed to score opening possession touchdown. The Ravens and the Dolphins. Because on the Ravens, well, you know, they just couldn't get off to a fast start. And the Dolphins, uh, we intercepted them on their opening drive. I think it was the second play of their opening drive. We intercepted them. I think that was the those are the only two teams that we did not allow an opening possession touchdown. Everyone else has scored on their first possession. So it's pretty bad, you know. You're putting your your uh, all your cards on that defense, and every time your offense goes on the field, you're down seven nothing, or if you're lucky, three nothing. Still bad though. You're still losing. So if I was the captains and you win the toss, I would take the ball. Take the ball, so you can score first, because worst comes to worst, you are tied seven seven. Or you're down 3-7. Seven. 7-3. Seven Excuse me. But at least you score first. <sighs> Knowing us, though, we'd probably throw an interception on the opening possession or whatever. I just I just want to see us win a game. That's all I want to see us do. Is win a game. A game. One game. That's all I want to see us do is win one game. I would hate it if this team went 0-16. Because I would know this is not an 0-16 like squad. They have not been playing like an 0-16 team. It's just been bad luck. I mean, of the seven games that we've played so far, I believe there have been four we could have won. We had, we, we had them in the bag, and we did not win them. We had the Ravens game, literally, in the bag. But yet, we let the Ravens claw back into the game. Then there was that whole final drive. With the taunting call, and then McCown throws an interception into a horde of Ravens defenders. That, oh my god, that that made me angry right there. 
Then there was the missed field goals by Parkey in week three. Then there was the fumbles in week four. Then we got crapped on week five. Then there was the failed two-point conversion week six. And then last week. Where the defense just quit. They gave up. They, they just, they crumbled. Yeah, there you go. They crumbled. They didn't necessarily quit. They just crumbled. Ay, 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 man. Well, we, I hope we look better this week. But I don't know. Who knows what this is going to be like. Of course, as I said, there is no, uh, as far as I know, there are no Jets video makers in the TTC. And the only Jets video maker that has actually subscribed to me is Jets Central. And he is not a trash talker. He's just a video maker for the Jets. So uh, shout out to you, Jets Central. You know, keep keep up the good work over there and, uh, you know, rooting for the Jets. <sighs> Hopefully we can get this win on Sunday. It'd be a real shame to go 0-8. But, you know, got to be hope. you know. I don't know, man. This is getting ugly real fast. So, anyways, um, I'm Crazy Dog 99 Go Browns. Uh, I will have my game two review coming up shortly. Uh, another ugly game from the Indians. Who we? Well, I'm Crazy Dog and I'm out. Go Browns.